The Herald Standard presents the game of the week. Tonight, Beth Center visits Frazier. The Frazier Commodores drew first blood. Brooke Poling with the score. But the Beth Center Bulldogs were unable to answer. The first quarter ends 12 to nothing. Frazier. In the second period, Beth Center finally on the scoreboard by way of a foul shot by Kinley Whiten. Followed up by three more. Swish by Frankie Pryor. The half ends 24 to 4. But in the third quarter, Frazier continues their domination. Alina Blazak hits a three. The Bulldogs start to warm up late in the third. Nicole White makes it 37 to 13. Frazier keeps racking up the score. Yovana Isaac makes it 48. And with seconds to go, Kinley Whited scores one more for Beth Center, but in vain. The game ends 48 to 27, Frazier. All right, Ken, uh, once again, uh, you had to be pleased with the effort of your girls tonight. Very pleased. Um, the girls came out hard. They, they, they fought hard. Um, we, we played as a team tonight. Um, yesterday, we had probably our best practice of the year. And uh, the kids come together. They hug. They realize what, what teamwork was about. And, and we moved the ball to the open, the open person. And, and, and we, got, we took good shots. No one, you know, we had maybe a couple, four shots. But, you know, for, for the most part, we, we took, took care of the ball. You like your, no you, turnovers. Um, um, yeah. Do you like uh, your team was making good decisions with the ball out there? Good decisions, exactly. High percentage shots, um, playing together, playing together. So. Um, now I know uh, your uh, daughter out there, uh, uh, Little Miss Poling. Uh, she had a good game, uh, picked up some points, but uh, it seemed like in the second half. Uh, you didn't have to rely on her as much. Everybody started getting to the flow of the game and got some shots to fall. Her. It, you know, that's that's the way it is. It sometimes it's it, the points come to you, but they come in bunches. At, you know, at times it's just it's some girls are going to be high scorers this week, some next week. It's just that's that's basketball. Um, so, um, but I'm pleased, very pleased. You just got to keep working at it and try to get better from here. We're going to keep getting better and try to make a run at this this section. So. Thank you. And we're talking to a couple of Frazier uh, seniors. You want to tell us your name there? Emily Marshall. Elena Blaschek. Okay. Well, Emily and Elena, you had to be very pleased with your effort tonight. Thank you. <laughs> it seemed like you started to get hot in the second half. You started to find your shot. Yeah, I did. It took me a while to get my flow started. Now, you uh, helped uh, try to take some of the pressure off the freshmen out there. You handle the ball a lot and get involved and rolling around on the floor, but um, you know, do you think this team has a lot of potential? Yeah, we have very good potential to get high up in this section. Just got to keep leading our team and make sure they have confidence out there on the court. And what do you guys do to just keep everybody together and give them confidence just keep talking to them or what? Yeah, we talk to each other a lot in and off the court and on the court, in the locker room, whatever. We always like to give everyone the pep they need and stuff to keep focused. Okay. Were you expecting a strong outing here tonight against Beth Center? Because, uh, you know, they're a pretty good team. They're young, but, you know, they came back at you a little bit in the second half. Yeah, I knew Beth Center was going to be a, a good team. I mean, every team in our section is pretty good, but I told the team, let's just get out there and start going, not wait till the second half, because that's normally what happens to our team. Well, thank you very much. Good luck on the season. Thank you. Thanks.